that I used in temps. Now it looks like I used a bubble sort. I don't think I actually did a video on temps, but I do have the problem set here. So we're going to go over it. Basically what I want to explain here is that in this code, the average temp, so AVG underscore temp struct is representing the average temperature of each city, right? So we have city and we have temp. So we have two different structs in this array. So in the temps array, there is average temp structs, right? And each element of the array is storing the information of a specific city. In this code, temps is an array of size 10, with each element containing information about a different city. We also have sort cities. That's a function that we're using bubble sort algorithm to sort the temps array in descending order based on the temp field. This means that the cities with the highest te average temperatures are going to be listed first, and those with the lower average temperatures are going to follow that. So the bubble sort algorithm works by basically iterating through the array and comparing the adjacent elements, which we have cities and temp, right? And then swapping them if they're the wrong order, as we know by a bubble sort, right? So our algorithm iterates through the array multiple times until all elements are in correct order. So it's going to go over if this one's higher, you know, and keep moving them and, and bubble sorting them as we went over in the lecture until we have only high to low. So after the sorting of the temps array in the main function, then we print out the city's name and its corresponding average temperature. So we're using a for loop here to iterate through the sorted array. The final output shows the cities in the order of the highest average temperature and going down to the order of the lowest average temperature. So this is just a real quick video of how I happen to do it. I did bubble sort because we only have a couple of cities here, so bubble sort was a perfectly acceptable way of getting these done faster. You could have used a different type of sort, but with the number of cities we had available to us, bubble sort seemed the right choice to me because it's only a few of them and you're just comparing them next to each other. It's not going to happen that much, so that's why I went that route. Anyway, that was Thames. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to list them in the comments. I'll get back to you. Thanks a lot. Look forward to helping you out. See you soon.